hello again uh, today to complete the bodice block that we did last time we're going to do the matching basic sleeve so it's a setting sleeve that has a little more ease on the sleeve head so to do the block we need only one measurement that you take uh, from the bone at the shoulder uh, you bend your arm a little bit and you pass by the elbow and you go all the way to the wrist bone. The other measurements are going to be uh, from the uh, sheet that I gave you last time. So we're going to need also the bust measurement and division. So I prepare another paper that you could find on my site, toolfully.com, and I added everything that you need for your sleeve block. The first construction line is going to be the center and the grain line of your sleeve. For my example, it's 58 centimeter. And you're going to do square line at the bottom and on top. So the bottom is going to be the wrist and the top is your sleeve head. Now, right away, you're going to divide your line in half, and so 58 divided by 2 is 29 for me, plus 4 centimeter towards the bottom. This is going to be your elbow level, and you square both sides also. The sleeve head measurement or height comes from your block uh, plan and you're going to connect the shoulder point of the front and the back. Connect and find the middle and you're going to measure from the bust line to that middle point. So I have my example here of 18.5 and to that measurement you're going to remove three centimeter. From that measurement I'm going to measure from the sleeve head and put my 15.5 so half the difference of the armo minus 3 cm and I'm going to square on both sides. We're now going to place the bicep width and to do that we need to take the bust arc measurement, three quarter of the bust arc measurement minus one centimeter and divide it by two. We're going to place half of that on both sides. So three quarter of BA minus one on one side and on the other side. So you also got your wrist measurement and you're going to put half of the measurement on each side of the center line. So my wrist was 21. So I put 10.5 on each side. And from this point, you're going to connect to the bicep point that we found. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do construction line to trace the sleeve head shape. And to do that first, the square, uh, you're going to take one quarter of the bust arc plus 0.25 divided by 2 and you add 3.5 to that measurement. Same measurement, you're going to place it on each side of the center line. So mine is 9.4 and 9.4 and you're going to square towards the top. Now on the sleeve head, you're going to divide each side by 2, so 9.4 is, uh, and you're going to divide again in 2. Same thing on both sides. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do those little square to find the 45 degree angle, so you could do a 1 centimeter square on both sides. And connect the two opposite corners. Now
now what we're going to do, we're going to measure the sleeve head and divide it by two for the back. And we're going to do the same thing in the front. So divide it by two. But go down one centimeter. To trace the guideline for the sleeve head, we're going to connect the half to the new point. Same thing for the back and the front. So the half to the new point. Now for the back, you're going to measure the one quarter and report the measurement on the diagonal line. And connect those two together. For the front, you're going to take the half measurement and report it on the diagonal line and also connect this, the two points together. So we're almost done. We just have to trace that curve now. So if I start on the top part, I'm just going to curve softly to eliminate the point created by the segment. So both of them, the line is going to stay straight until the square and you're going to go down touching a point at about 4.5, about because it depends on the size of your, of your sleeve, but just as a reference and then go to the bicep point. Same thing on the front, so just curve and curve the two points and then from there front you're going to measure about four centimeter and connect to the bicep level. The last thing you're going to need are the notches to match your armhole on the bodice. So for the back and the front you should take the measurement of the notch from the underarm and report it from the underarm. So the same measurement you take and you report. Same thing on the front. For the sleeve head, since we do have ease at the sleeve head and it all depends on your curve and on the size of your bodice, uh, what you should do to find the middle notch that is not supposed to be on the grain line, it should be a little bit towards the front because your armhole should be different measurement. For my example, I have a 22.5 on the back and 22 on the front. So we do have five millimeter difference. My notch should be half of the difference towards the smallest size. So my front is smaller, my difference is 0.5, so my notch is going to be at 0.25 towards the front. So you're done, you have now your matching sleeve. Thank you for watching and don't forget you could also follow us on Instagram and I see you next time.